businesses I talked to told me that everyone on this block looks out for each other. And when we were in a resident's backyard, we saw some of the behavior they're talking about firsthand. But also, I want to address why we're not in front of the property right now. As we were heading to our live shot, police stopped us and asked us not to shoot any footage of the property right now. We are still trying to figure out what's going on. That camera in particular, that is a floodlight, is one of the first things I prioritize for safety here. Safety that Casey Silver says is necessary. There's been bags of human feces thrown into our yard. That behavior coming from the house across the alley in Seattle's Greenwood neighborhood only became more violent. We've had three shootings I've had to report. We've had vandalism theft. While in Silver's backyard, people in the alley were spray painting and threw something into a neighboring backyard. A business owner came out to ask that they stop tagging. We all get tired of cleaning up the mess and I did get tagged today. David Gable owns Gable's Custom Refinishing and Upholstery. We don't want to move. You know, this is where my business has been for since my dad started it. Gable says the nuisance property, which is made up of multiple homes, some now boarded up by the city, has been a problem for decades. Needles, bodies, all that stuff been coming out of there for 20 years. On Monday morning, there was a standoff at the property with a man threatening a woman with a gun. Robert V. Long did not show up for his first court appearance today. You have some like minimum expectations for any neighborhood you live in, right? Like safety, community, um, and those things feel like they've been taken from us here. Silver has called the Seattle Police Department more than 50 times in the last nine months. It just feels like their hands are tied. He now has a concealed carry permit, something he never thought he'd have in Seattle. Now I feel it's very necessary just to be in my own neighborhood. Now, according to King County Records, Betty Loft LLC took over ownership of this property in 2022. And as of last week, a demolition permit was taken out with the city. Again, police, Seattle Police Department asking us not to take any footage of the property at this time. We're still trying to figure out what exactly is going on and if it has anything to do with these demolition permits. But for now, live in Greenwood, I'm Kristen Goodwillie at King 5 News.